Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast we're going to take a look at a new feature for Prime Faces developers. You can see we have a Java E7 application on Maven. We also have some JPA entity classes that you can see right now. We can use code completion inside the named queries to fill out those queries. We can look inside the Maven editor which gives us a graph view with various layouts. Also access to the effect of Palm right inside the IDE and of course the history of changes done locally. As always you have access to the database whatever it is and we have Glassfish started up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a session bean and that session bean is going to connect our backend which was generated from our database to our prime faces front end. Here is our customer session bean we just add the stateless annotation and we're done. And we now have a session beam. So we want to inject our backend into this. So we use the persistence context annotation to do that. That gives us access to the entity manager. And from the entity manager, we can make calls into the database. We add a new business method, get customers, which will return a list of customers. and our method is complete. Import statement is there. We do em.create named query and we use code completion directly inside the quotes here to find all our queries. So there's no need to switch to where those queries are defined in the entity classes. As soon as we save the application that we deployed, but what we want to do is we want to display the data inside the view so we add the named annotation in the past you needed to include a beans.xml file if you use the named annotation and that's not needed anymore in Java E7. So now what is new in NetBeans 8 is right here, you can see at the bottom, we can switch between Java server faces and prime faces for the front end generation. And it's in two different templates that you can gener uh, generate from here. So we select a session bean, we select the method that's going to be called and either we can generate plain Java server faces front end as we normally would or we can generate prime faces front end and you can see here there's also a template that's used which we have access to which we can change as needed so we're now going to generate that front end which means without any tweaking after we've created our front end um, we can we now have access to to prime faces tags no need to tweak anything you can see prime faces is deeply embedded inside NetBeans to enable all of this to, to happen, really hard-coded in the NetBeans uh, source base. Make any change inside the prime faces file or anywhere else, of course, and immediately the application is redeployed and you see it live in the browser, whether that browser is the internal browser or an external browser like Chrome or Firefox. So that's it. A very nice and handy tool inside prime faces files for interacting with the backend and creating Prime Faces content from that backend. Thanks and have fun with Prime Faces and with NetBeans.